It is important to have a firm grip on the fresco ball handle. Grasp the handle as though you're giving it a good handshake. Your wrist should be at a 110 degree angle and your elbow should be bent at a 90 degree angle. While playing, you should maintain this posture. The wrist should be firm as it keeps the paddle in the correct position. Keep your knees bent so that you feel grounded and balanced. While opening up for a hit, move with your core and not your shoulders. Bend or straighten your legs to adjust to the height or distance of an incoming ball. When you go to hit the ball, you should start from the center of your body and then return to that position. It is more important to have a controlled hit than a powerful hit. The paddle and ball already have plenty of power. Hits should be short, forward, and controlled, similar to a volley in tennis. You can practice these hits with a friend or a wall. Reach towards the front with your non-paddle hand and reach towards the back with your paddle hand. This will open up your body to the side of your dominant hand. To perform the hit, swing the paddle through until it's back to center. Reach your non-paddle hand towards the back. Twist your body in that direction, joining your hands together, and then swing the paddle forward and back to center. Fresco ball is played between two or three players. For a two-person game, players face each other with a recommended distance of 25 feet apart between them. For a three-person game, one player stands on one side and two people stand across from them. During the game, a single player alternates sending hits between the other players. The goal should be to rally back and forth without the ball touching the ground.